Hey guys, I'm Emily and I'm here at Vance Birthplace to find out what is this building? I am here with assistant site manager Lauren. Hey Lauren. Hey, how's it going? It's going well. So yeah, what is this building exactly? So this is a spring house. It would have been used as a main source of water and also as a refrigerator for food that would spoil. Interesting. So um, where exactly is this water coming from exactly? So it's actually coming up from underground. So a spring is a natural water source that flows up from under the earth. And here it is kind of pooled into a well in this part of the building. And then a pipe, like the one behind you, would channel it into a channel here in the main part of the spring house. And then it flows out that way towards the Reams Creek. So Lauren, why would someone have thought to create this structure around this body of water? Good question. So the spring here naturally is cold. So it comes out of the ground and stays about 50 degrees or so all year long. And so this structure here both protects the water and keeps the area enclosed colder so that you can refrigerate items. So this would have been a source of water and also you're saying a refrigerator. How would that have worked exactly? Yeah, so some of the food items like milk that are liquid, you can pour into a crock, um, just a piece of pottery, kind of like a jug, and store it directly in the water channel to keep it cold. And then other things just use the cold ambient temperature to stay um, at levels that will keep them from perishing quickly. What are some other um, reasons or ways people would have used the water around here? Yeah, so obviously for drinking um, and for the refrigeration, but also for cooking and cleaning. Laundry is one of the big chores that requires a lot of water. It's very labor intensive and requires a lot of effort. So people didn't do it as often as we do today. Interesting. I would love to see how laundry was done around here at that time. Sure. If we head on up, I can show you a few artifacts that are related to laundry. Let's go take a look. Awesome. It's, it's a lot. So, okay, which one do you want? Uh, this one. So what is this exactly? So these are both laundry sticks. Okay. This one is called a battling stick. Battling this stick. is the one that's going to be kind of like the agitator like that's in your washing machine. Okay. So you would pour in the water, heat the water, add the soap, add the clothing or whatever you're washing, and then use this to stir it up. Okay. And then you can see that this has been um, cracked over time yeah. from contact with all that hot water. It's also kind of been bleached out there. So once you have felt like you've gotten all of the stains out, uh, you're gonna wanna use that one then, and that's kind of like a hook to grab the stuff out. So, you so you're, you're taking and you're hooking stuff up and out. Yep, and then you're gonna hang it to dry, or um, you might even then pull out a washboard and um, use that and then start over again. So the people doing laundry around here are kind of standing over this hot cast iron bowl full of boiling water, I'm assuming, and lye soap, and then the, the laundry, you know, whatever is being cleaned. I feel like if I were doing this laundry, I would want these to be like 20 feet long, because yeah. I'm sure it's so hot and so just intense, this whole situation. Mm -hmm. This is the one chore I'm super glad that we have electricity for now, because it's a lot of work in the 1800s. Yeah. Lauren, thank you so much for showing me around the spring house, showing me what the building is exactly, and uh, giving me a look inside how laundry was done in the 19th century. Uh, I'm going to take a look at the rest of this area. Is there anything I should keep in mind while I'm heading out? Yeah, so just keep in mind that this was an early 1800s plantation in the mountains of North Carolina. So everything you see, all the objects and the buildings, are going to date from that time period and, and kind of give you an idea of what it was like to live here then in the 19th century. Interesting. I will definitely keep that in mind. Thanks again. You're welcome. Thanks for coming.